you have any price in mind? It's Friday, January 15th. I have four eBay orders to ship out, and after that, I'm heading across town to look at some stuff for sale. Let's get to work. My right, first order going out is a whole bunch of glassware. It is two packages of it, and I think it's both of these right here. These were in the storage units that I bought back in the spring, and I had maybe like three or four more sets of these that have sold, you know, different colors. I think there was green and yellow. Um, these are kind of like a brown tint. I think it's like arabesque spice brown is what it says on the container. Same buyer bought both of these for $89.98 plus shipping, and I'll just combine them in the same box and refund them the difference. Okay, next is this right here, something I got as part of that private pick I went on, I guess, about a month ago. Uh, this is a power supply, pretty sure. EVGA uh, 650G retailed for $145, but I'm sure that's been a little while. Uh, this had everything with it. It was in really good condition. That sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next are some roller skates right down here in C5. I got these from the Piqua Resellers. This brand is Chicago, which is a pretty good brand. You can get some good money for them. Mine were not in great shape. If they were in better condition, they would have sold for a little bit more. But in the condition they're in, they sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next is in C32. It's three Wii games, Just Dance 2, Just Dance 3, and Country Dance. I could have sold Country Dance for maybe close to $10 on its own, but I just decided to do all three together. Um, they all sold for $13.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, my orders are packed up. I'm heading down across the river into Kentucky to check out some stuff for sale. I've seen a guy by the name of Forrest. He actually bought a pitching wedge from me. I guess it's been a little over a week now. And when he picked it up, he said that he had some stuff for sale. So we're going to head down there and see what he's got. How's it going? So what all's for sale? What's not for sale? This, I've already got this. This okay. is all for sale. All right. That's for sale on there. Okay. Uh, the box. This. This. And anything in the lower one. In the lower? Yeah, this one right here. Okay. What about the bookshelf? Uh, well, this. That's you for coming. Oh, thank you. Tesla Comet. You remember Tesla Comet? The company? Yeah. I do not remember. I've never heard of them. No, you're too young. What do they do? Oh, they were gas. Were they? Yeah, one of the big ones in Cincinnati. Very cool. Thank you. Oh, this will go in my display case at home. Yeah, I thought you might. Like that was really cool. Yeah. So, so is this stuff that you've just kind of collected over the years? Yeah, we've been here 49 years. Wow. And uh, the thing I would recommend is I have stuff from my parents have passed away. Her parents passed away. Still got stuff from my grown children. My son will be 50 years old, and I still got a lot of his toys no and stuff that he collected. And my daughters. And then I had an aunt that I had to clear out of her house, too. Wow. All right. Well, I'll poke around a little bit. All right. And then if you see something, if you see anything, I'll just, uh, you know, like this is not, this is not. Okay. This is not. But anything else that's hanging up or... I like your coke thermometer you selling that yeah i'll sell that uh i've although i've had it for almost 50 years wow. 40 years i had a gold one i don't know what happened to it oh yeah yeah that's nice let's see these are one of those is a world's fair atlanta exposition 1895. Oh, yeah no, i guess wow annie huh that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. And that other one, I think, is, if it has anything on it or not. The Doughboy. Oh, yeah, that's cool.
buddy L. Oh man, that's an oldie. Yeah. That's back when Sonny Jurgensen and those guys. Wow. My son was a Redskins fan. Yeah. He even traveled to Green Bay to play to watch him play and then traveled to Washington a couple of times. Wow. I heard Green Bay is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they went up there on a Monday night football game. It was like 10 degrees or something. You know what that is? Uh, a bottle for a ship? No? Rolling pin. Rolling pin? Seriously? Fill it with cold water and huh. roll your biscuits and stuff. Wow, that's different. Mm -hmm. Learn something new every day. It's never been opened, I don't think. It's just the Johnny Bench bat? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You ever seen those? I have, but I've never seen one in this good a condition. I mean, besides never... that little smudge there, this thing is like brand new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, when I was, my son, who's going to be 50 next month, uh, he was 15, 16, the last year he played baseball. Yeah. And uh, somebody, and I coached him, I coached him all the time, and uh, somebody brought about eight or nine of those bats, said, you know, here they are. Yeah. And we gave them out to the kids that were there. Oh, that's cool. Is your radio for sale? Yes. It, I think it works, but I wouldn't plug it in because it, it's the cords hard. frayed. The cords. RCA Victor has a really cool look to it. It is. Uh, there's only one, one little problem, I think, on it. It doesn't show too much. It's kind of a stain or something. Oh, like that's that. not that bad. Right. Yeah, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's in a lot better condition than most of the ones I see. Okay. Anything else back in here? Yeah. Uh, these, uh, these are, of course, these are not, these are not, they're just uh, the standard ones. Like reproductions? Reproductions. Okay, sure. And then here's, this is for, the underground is for English. The uh, subway? That's, yeah. That's, that's cool. That's what they call that. And then here's a Conrail and that. Okay. Sounds some golf clothes too? Uh, not these. Okay. Uh, let's see. I was going to show you the. I don't know whether there's a market for them or not. But. Persimmon. Well, Persimmon. They were. Power built made them. And they were. Uh, let's see. 30. About 30. Almost. 40 years ago. Uh, when I got my last job uh, in my office, a fellow came in and he saw I told him about these and he yeah. had a couple of golf courses. He said, well, bring them to me because I bought them at a yard sale. Yeah. I bought them at a, and he had them refinished by the guy that worked for McGregor. Oh, wow. And so they've never been hit. They're they gorgeous. Made a beautiful display. Yeah. I got a one, a six. A six is rare. I don't think I've ever seen it. Um, yeah, I'd be interested in the three woods. Okay. Any of the putters or any of that stuff for sale? Uh, uh, well, let's see. I've got a ping, two pings. I've got it all on the table over there and then this bag here, too. All right, so what are you thinking? Let me do some math here. Okay. You have any price in mind? If you don't mind, you want to go ahead and what about two hundred and fifty. About two seventy five. Let's do it. Okay. I appreciate you working with me, Force. Okay. There's two eighty. Don't worry about the change. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that old lantern. That is so cool. Yeah. It's in great condition too. Did you want? Did you want that lantern? Which lantern? Uh, this one. I got one just about like that. Do you? It's a tall one. Oh wow! Yeah, I didn't even see these. Uh, I got a globe for it. L and N Railroad. Uh -huh. What are they worth? I even sold ones like this. That I think I think you could easily get it over a hundred dollars. Really? Mm -hmm. So if I could get, I don't know. 50 out of it? Sure, I'll buy it. Okay. 
and then here's your blurb. I'll put that in. And okay. I'll, I'll throw this in because I need to put that in the top of that one. That see that clip? That, okay. And then it'll look. It'll be perfect. Interesting. We'll just round it up to sixty. I don't have a ten or anything on me. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. All right guys, I'm back at the warehouse. I spent a total of $340. I'm gonna bring everything in and show you guys what I bought. All right, I kind of got everything scattered around. I'll start over here. There is a Thomas Kincaid puzzle that's sealed. Came full of kids records. Here's a nice Johnny Bench bat. Things in really good condition. Got a Polaroid. This, I didn't even know what this was. He said that's a rolling pin. So I thought that was pretty cool. Old Tonka truck, old Buddy L transport truck, University of Kentucky Wildcats trash can. That's going to go in my antique booth. This vintage power built orange golf bag. Now let's see some woods. We got three power built persimmons woods, and two of these are just really clean and excellent condition. And another persimmon five wood, and a ping pal putter. Over here, we got a Craftsman laser track. Here's that old RCA Victor radio. It is really clean. The cord is not in great shape, um, but I do think it'll still sell, you know, even in the current condition that it's in. We've got a Star Trek USS Enterprise model. This is a uh, Logitech keyboard that he said he got as a gift, but never really used. A couple mini bats. Got a Mickey Mouse figurine. Pillsbury Doughboy. Salt and pepper shakers. I thought these pieces were neat. Atlanta Exposition 1895. This one doesn't have any writing on it, but it's just got a really cool look to it. Got some artwork. There is a train photo. And this, I think, is a print. Let's see. Frank Smith Midnight Switching. Got a Coleman cooler. And yeah, there's some stuff inside. Here's the vintage Coke thermometer. Robertson, made in USA. Got an old hatchet. Some uh, reproduction signs. Action figure, a couple of 124 scale die cast. Some magic cards. Got this nice Ogeo bag. It says the original locker bag. So I'm thinking you put like golf shoes and different things in here. Let's see if I can get this open because I know there's some stuff inside. So we've got this Washington Redskins coin bank before they changed their name to the football team. Some books. There's a calculator down in there. There's a couple wind up toys. Let's see Irwin Mechanical Crawling Baby. That's down in there. And then there's a little wind up elephant. And then. These two, he kind of showed me at the end. This is an L and N railroad lantern with the globe, and this one right here. Let's see. I don't think it's stamped for any particular railroad. Forrest, thanks again for everything. Hopefully, we can do business together again soon. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.